you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Ugly. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee. One of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground outstanding striker as well and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight yeah you know johnny puts his belt on the line this guy this guy does everything so well he's so well-rounded he's so skilled he's so gifted and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you it's that simple i'm gonna get you i'll get my hands locked i'll throw you to the ground and i will make you engage with me on my terms that has allowed for him to become the champion and tonight he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> The challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makacha. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man is proven to lead as well. A true 5 2 player who many believe by years end could just be the king of the lightweight division. It's Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. He tries to work it into a takedown. What does he do now that he has this kind of position? Oh! Massive kick to the head! Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed him to put the back. Notice how he creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang! Unable to land with that punch. 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice shot there by the champ. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice level change. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Big grounding bomb. Final seconds here of round one. That hold sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. All right, so high end with two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Good work from the top here by Islam Akashi. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, he's going triangle here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Under three to go round two. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-known, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Islam Makashi. He passes the half. Setting up a sub here. Ooh, that submission looks tight. We may get a finish here with this Von Fucho, but now he's got a tee up. He's got to get his body. Oh, he got out again. He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Thirty seconds to go in round two. 
Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. He's got to be careful here. Final seconds of the round. Makashev's back in full now. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, Ready. nasty ground and pound. All right, here we go with this third round of this What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, oh he's got hit again. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. You get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Kick. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Checks the leg kick. First contact. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Three minutes to go in round three. Lee's now switching his stance. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Makashev's in half court. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter it. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it's, it, no takedown is not fought. No trying for a submission here. Arms in deep. Oh, he's getting submitted. Good work. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Outstanding huh. round and another hey, five minutes coming up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. 
Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. Oh, he is hurting for certain. He's done. He's done. Continue to rain down. It's over. It's over. with a huge win tonight. Oh my lord! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion.